friends, wizards, witches, and of course muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I had a very exciting piece of outpost dropped on my doorstep the other day, and it was quite a large box. It took quite a few hours. There was like one on each corner. Um, <laughs> but yes, I got something very special in the outpost from Noble Collection. Now, if you don't know what Noble Collection are and you've never heard of them, well, let me fill you in. They are a company that makes some of the most exquisite replicas out there. They make and manufacture all of the Wizarding World wands, they've done all of the special things like Slughorn's Hourglass and Time Turner and that kind of thing and even these bookends on here, they make some of the best replica pieces and I have been a fan of Noble Collection for many many years. So when this landed on my doorstep I was very excited to show you guys and to review these for you because these are nine nine brand new ones from Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore. Now I have seen the movie, I saw it when it came out, only once, so some of these characters may or may not be in my brain, but I will be talking about them and letting you know who they are, who's all the ones belongs to, and my review of the design. So if you're interested in seeing all of the new ones, then keep on watching, and hey, if you're brand new to this channel, firstly, hello, welcome, don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you would like to become part of our weird, magical, online family but let's go because we've got nine ones to reveal to discover i'm very excited there's one that i'm so excited about it's jacob oh my god okay i am going to start with the wand that i do know what it looks like and the character and the one i'm most excited about because this is the first time that a muggle or a nomad has been given a wand and that is jacob kowalski here is the wand this is his it's in a black box it's got his name on the end i will say all of the wand boxes are pretty similar with their labelling, but Jacob's is very different on the wand box. They all have the label here on the rest of them. So I wonder why they didn't do the same design on there. But either way, this is Jacob's wand. So let's open it on up. This is my first time ever seeing it. Let's take the silica gel out. Okay. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Oh, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. This is Jacob Kowalski's wand. I'm loving the kind of wiggly bent wood effect. I like that it's almost ombre as well. We kind of go from light wood to dark wood as well. I'm enjoying the handle too. I think this is going to be my favourite out of the lot, but I'll let you know at the end because some of these I don't even know what they look like and there might be a wand that completely wows me. But yeah, so this is Jacob's. We finally see his wand. I remember when the trailer dropped and we were all kind of like, wait, he has a wand and we're all very excited to see the design of his. It's going to look very wiggly and wobbly on my wand displays. Um, all of these are going to have to fit on here somehow because that is the Fantastic Beast side. How does it feel to swish? It feels pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It feels pretty good. I love the kind of stripey kind of wood paintwork on there as well. I think that's really cool. Very nice. Okay, that was a great one to start with. Okay, whose shall we look at? at next. I want to, let's go to the one at the furthest end. So this is Teo, or I think his full name is Liu, Liu Teo, and this character is the Chinese Minister of Magic. It's a very beautiful navy blue box. I'm very intrigued. Oh, it's very sophisticated. It's very, oh, this is gorgeous, in fact. Let's, oh, Look at that wand. That's gorgeous. The handle is beautiful. It's kind of like this twisted, kind of voluptuous wood. Oh, that handle feels really nice. Oh, it's got, it's very exciting. This is the end of this wand. So it's got like a little tip. It's got like a little silver band around there. I've also got some other metal detailings on there too and different wood types i'm really enjoying the metal kind of silver detailings they aren't real metal this is all paintwork on a resin wand they do have metal cores to keep them sturdy these aren't toys these are definitely replicas for display pieces this is a really unique wand i love the coloring of the wood the kind of darks and the lights it's got a it's got a slight curve to it a little bit of a bend so it's not it's not completely flat that's a really nice one. 
That's gorgeous. Okay. Okay. I see your Nova collection. I would love a job as a wand designer. Genuinely. Like, what a job. Right, I'm gonna lucky dip. I'm gonna go for this olive green box that we have here. And this is for, I don't know if I'll be able to pronounce this correctly, but this is the Vicencia Santos. I've probably completely murdered that name. She was the Brazilian Minister of Magic, and I think she was who got the Supreme Mugwump title after Albus Dumbledore did, but let's open it and see what her wand looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's take a look at this handle. It's kind of like rattan kind of thatched. It, it's very intricate. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like, I really like the design of that. I think that's really, really nice. Um, this is a straight wand. It's got this kind of like nice wood effect on there as well. It's a very simple wand, but I do think that that kind of texture, I also really like the shape on the end of the wand. It's not flat, it's kind of like, it's just a really nice shape. How does this one feel? Oh. Very nice indeed. But yeah, look at that handle. I think that's a really nice one. Maybe I will have a favourite one that's not Jacob's by the end of this video because some of these are gorgeous. I love that they make such unique designs. They're still coming out with some gorgeous ones. Okay, I'm going to go with the pink one. And this is Anton Vogel. There is the end of his box. So Anton Vogel is the German if I'm not mistaken, the German Minister of Magic. Let's take a look. Oh, this one's very him. It kind of matches his kind of face. Oh, this is heavy. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, this is very interesting. This one's long. <laughs> this one feels really long. So we've got this kind of gold and silver detailing in the handle. This is what the end of it looks like. This feels like Oh, this has some good, like, grip. Like, your finger goes right around that part of the wand when you're holding it. And I feel like, yeah, you're going to be able to cast some spells with that without yeeting your wand. But, yeah, so that is the German Minister of Magic's wand. Very interesting. I like the grooves. Like, this isn't, like, black paint stripes. These are actual... 3D grooves that are down the handle. Okay, I'm going to take the one that's on top in this grey box and this says, I think it's pronounced Fisher or Fisker and she was, uh, she worked, was she an assistant for the German Minister of Magic? I think so, could be wrong, but either way this is, oh look at that! This looks kind of like marble, like a brown marble effect on there. But this is the wand handle that you can see. Again, quite intricate with the kind of silver bands. And this is the end of the wand too. I really like the kind of shiny elements to these ones. Like most of them have metal detailing and it does just give them that little extra bit of oomph like ma magical oomph. Yeah, that's a thing. It's another quite simple wand. It's very straight. There's nothing too um, extravagant, but I think it's nice. It's a nice, it's a classy wand. I feel like that's nice. You could almost imagine that these pieces around here were like leather with the metal bound around it to give it that kind of shape. That's what it's giving to me. It's giving luxury. It's giving luxurious. I tell you what, my head would actually explode if whoever designs all of these ones for the Wizarding World designed one just for me, because I would weep. Um, okay, we've got Credence. We have Credence. So this comes in a grey box, as you can see. We have Credence on the end. Let's take a look at their wand. This one I have seen before and I really like it because it feels really sharp and geometric. Oh my goodness. Let's take a moment to look at the end of this one. Oh wow. Oh, you know how I was like, oh everything's painted metal. This isn't painted metal. This actually has a metal piece 
in the wand itself. I've not seen that too much. I have seen it on the original OG Albus Dumbledore wand from Fantastic Beasts, not the Elder Wand, but his actual original wand because that does have metal on it. It was one of the first that Noble Collection actually incorporated shiny metal on one of their wands and they have done it again with Credences, which is interesting. But yes, look at this really cool geometric shape. I just think that looks gorgeous and it kind of tapers all the way down. It's very angular. It looks badass. It really looks cool. I think that's such an awesome wand and it feels nice as well. Honestly, you have to do a wand test with these. You have to do like a, a swish and flick and it's all in the wrist action. But yeah, so I think this one's a top contender of my favourites so far. We do have three, three or so ones left to look through. But that is gorgeous. Like, Credence got lucky with that wand. What a delightful design. Okay, who else do we have? We've got Aberforth, Dumbledore, Albus's brother. It's a grey box. Here's the label. Let's open it. I don't remember what his wand looks like. I don't even know if I've ever seen his wand, in fact. Oh, it's giving classy. Honestly, yes. This, I wouldn't expect any less for Aberforth to have a wand like this. It's a very beautifully carved wooden wand. It's kind of like, almost like um, a really fancy piece of furniture. It's kind of got that kind of banister vibe to it there, but it's also got this kind of nice detailing right in the handle. It's kind of been whittled away to have a really nice texture in it, but it also has this bit here in the wand where it kind of changes wood colour, kind of goes to dark to oak and I think what a transition. It looks like almost like a puzzle piece but that's really nice. I think that's gorgeous. Again another very straight wand. Most wands are straight. Obviously we've got Jacobs, we've got Bellatrixes which is quite wiggly. We've got uh, Gellert Grindelwald's wand as well, which you can just about see here, which is quite wiggly. But most of them do seem to be straight and this one's really cool. I think that's nice. It's not overstated at all, but in probably a really nice classy way. Yeah, I like that. I do. Okay, next one we've got Lally Hicks. I really like her character actually. Oh wow, her wand is stunning and I haven't even opened all of the Oh my god, if that's not the most intricate wand you've ever seen, I don't know what is. It's gorgeous, it almost looks like a mermaid, like it's stunning. Look at the detail in her hair, that's so pretty. That's gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen a wand like this. Again, it kind of holds really well and it's very, very unique. Like what, imagine having your wand have like a statue carved into it almost. That's really, really nice. But yeah, it does handle really nicely as well. So there it is, Lally Hicks wand. It's very dark, very plain dark wood on the end, but hey, when you've got a handle as extra as that and as detailed as that I don't think you need anything on the rest of the wand because I think that does kind of all of the talking what do you guys think about this wand leave a comment down below I think it's really intricate and beautiful and the last wand that we're going to be discussing today is for a character called Helmut not sure how to pronounce it but I believe that they were the head of auras at the German Ministry of Magic Oh, now that, that's lovely. Look at this, look at this handle. At first you're like, hmm, but if you look closer, it has runes around the bit that's meant to look like metal. Again, it's got that nice grip. All of these wands, all of them, feel good in the hand. They have some sort, like they're designed very well for grip. And I think that's worth noting. It's also got, I've noticed, it has these kind of little rivets that are holding it together. Very nice. And then the rest of it is just a straight wood. But there we have it. That is his wand. And that's all of them. Let's take a look at all nine of these wands together. Okay, so these are all of the nine 
Fantastic Beasts ones that were released after The Secrets of Dumbledore came out from Noble Collection, all retailing at around £33 each. Let's talk about my favourites then, and obviously I want to hear what your favourites are as well. I think Jacob's for me was definitely a highlight, but there were two others that really wowed me. One of those was Credence's wand, that kind of really geometric one with the metal piece in the end. I thought that was really nice, but I also really liked Lally's wand as well because I've never seen a handle that intricate. I did also quite like this wand as well, which was for Vicencia Santos. Oh, I, I need to look up the pronunciations because I really, really did enjoy the texture on there as well. But honestly, all of them are beautifully designed as you would expect from the Wizarding World and Noble Collection as well. But I think the ones that I would highly recommend to add to your collections are Jacob's Credence's and Lally's. Those three, to me, were like, yes, these are really lovely. So I will leave a link down below for Noble Collection if you're interested in any of these ones. Leave a comment down below. Whose was your favourite? Whose was your least favourite? What would your wand look like in the Wizarding World? Let me know. I'm intrigued to see what kind of designs that you could come up with. If you got this far in the video, firstly, thank you very much for watching. Secondly, give this video a magical thumbs up real quick. It's free. Um, and I guess I will see you in my next video. And also a big shout out to Noble collection for sending me these ones for review. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Bye! Oh my god. <sighs> yes, Jacob.